Well, hello, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back. Jiu-Jitsu 2000 here today. I'm back. I hope you guys are doing wonderful. I've got an interesting video for you. Today, I want to talk about the GoPro, talk about the Hero 9 Black Edition. This is a fabulous camera. So I've been using this camera and I've noticed that the audio isn't as good as it could be. So I thought that I would pick up this mod. This is the Media Mod. This is pretty cool from what I can tell. What this does is it gives you a, it's weather resistant, it gives you a directional microphone. Okay, and it also gives you options to add uh, other mods. You can get a light, you can get different sound things, you can get another screen, things like that. So it says, turn your Hero 9 Black into a production power host. Media mod features a built-in directional mic with wind suppression. Three and a half millimeter mic port, HDMI out, two cold shoe mounts, and tough weather resistant construction. Very cool. And then it says includes the media mod for the Hero 9 Black, removable windscreen, vertical mounting buckle, and a thumb screw. So there's a look at the packaging there for you guys. Feel free to pause if you want to read that for yourself. Here is what the side of it looks like. Very cool. And again, the front. And I picked this up actually yesterday at uh, Best Buy. So let's open this up and see what's in the package here. So you open this and then there's like this little tab here. You can slide this out. Okay, so there's nothing left in the box. I'll set that aside. You've got a couple pieces of literature here. You've got an owner's manual, which is very simple. There's not a lot in this owner's manual. So I'll just hold this up to the camera real quick and give you a quick glimpse of that. There's not a lot in there. It's thick because there's multiple languages. And that's really the end of it right there for English. So that's basically it. The most important part is the diagram where it breaks down the camera and tells you what everything is on the mod. So corresponding to the number. Pretty cool. So the next thing you see here is the warranty information card. Okay, so we don't need that right away. And then you've got a package like this. There's this little mount here. Let's see if I can get that out. I'm probably gonna probably gonna rip it. I don't know. Let's pull that pull that bad boy out. So you got this little mount. Little GoPro mount. And it also comes with a another thumb screw just like this. So what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and match these two up so I don't lose any of that. Put those together. And the media mod itself with the part that goes over the uh, microphone so I don't get the wind noise. So that's what it looks like. There's that cold shoe mount on the side. Here's the back. There's the buttons on the side, the button on the top. There's a cold shoe on the top. And then the cool thing is you can take this and slap it on. I'll, I'll do that in a minute. But right here, you got these ports. I'll talk about that here in a second. So you've got this little, this little lever thing here. You can just pull this down and the mod comes apart just like this. Okay, so I, I pulled this little thing down. So to put it onto the camera, what you've got to do is you've got to, um, am I on the right side here? Yeah. So let's pull this down. We've got to take this door off. I don't have very big fingernails, so it's hard for me to get a grip on stuff like that. So I'm going to take this piece off just like so. And if you notice inside the media mod, there's a USB-C that corresponds to the USB-C on the camera. So you basically put those two together just like this. Oops, let me put the feet up. So you put it just like so, and then that USB-C slides right into the port on the camera. And then from here, you just pull this down, click it into place, and then again, dig out those feet, because I don't have any fingernails. 
So there you see the media mod installed on the camera. So now, if you want to change the audio and protect it from wind, you can take this piece right here and just put it with this plastic piece here towards the rear, just like that, just slapped right on. And that gives you better audio that's wind protected audio. Now this media mod is weather resistant, but it's not waterproof at this point. You can get out in the rain and stuff a little bit, but it's not for underwater at this point. So if you want to film underwater, obviously you're going to have to take this media mod off, put your door back on, and uh, go up, go do your thing. Now if you want to remove the uh, wind protection, you just pull this up and it just pops right on and off. Very simple. Very easy. So, um... You can see here that there's three little doors that are protecting the ports. That is the, I think they call that a micro HDMI port. And then the second one is the USB-C right there. And then the third one is the three and a half microphone port right there. So you got three little flaps that protect each of those. Just like I said, so that uh, rain doesn't get in there and stuff like that. So you just pop that into place. You got the cold shoe on the top. You got the cold shoe on the side. Again, you have the little pieces here that'll let you mount up to things. So when you first turn the camera on, let's see, am I gonna push that button there? Let's see, give it a second here. You'll see it'll boot up and you see the audio indicator right there. The louder I talk, look at the higher that goes. And then the lower I talk, look, it gets really small. So that's pretty cool. That's what the media mod looks like. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go outside. I'm gonna go for a little walk and I'm gonna test the audio. I'm gonna do it without the media mod and then I'll do it with the media mod. And I'll cut that footage in so you can kind of get a glimpse of what the sound sounds like. Because my main objective for this media mod is so that when I go out and I do my overnighters and my solo survival videos and my experience videos, I want better audio. I want to be able to capture better audio because the camera already does a fantastic job with the picture quality is really good. So I just want better audio. And I'm probably going to end up getting that mod, uh, that light mod that goes right on the top. So I'll probably end up picking one of those up and then I'll have the ability to have a little bit of light. And the cool thing is you can change the uh, microphone settings on the camera to either listen to the back of the microphone right here on the big screen back here, or, whoops, touch screen there. Or you can make it where it'll pick up the audio on the front. And then I think there's actually a third option to pick up the audio in the internal microphones on the camera itself. So I'll have to go through those settings and kind of look. So I'm gonna go do that footage right now and we'll be back. Hope you enjoy this video, it's gonna be fun. So let's go take a look. Okay, here we are. I've got the media mod in my hand. Just going for a little walk. I'm out here in a practice uh, softball field and over here, which will be behind me now, you can see the interstate that's i-40 so you can probably pick up some of that interstate sound i don't know how the audio is coming across but now i'm going to go ahead and stop for a second and i'm going to put on the media mod and we're going to listen to it with this mod there's a very light wind coming from the west so if i kind of turn myself in a circle i don't know if you're picking up any wind noise or not but i can feel it okay Let's get that media mod mounted. Okay, now we're back. We've got the media mod installed. I do have the little sponge thing on the microphone to prevent the wind noise. Where'd my dog go? There's my dog. And it's the same amount of wind and I'm the same distance that I was just a minute ago from the interstate behind me. So now I'm gonna walk a little bit I don't know if you can hear my footsteps or my dog stepping. I can hear very clearly from where I'm at the sound of the interstate. 
Where's my dog? There's my old dog, Blondie. That's old Blondie there. She's a good dog. I'm going into some wind. I can feel the wind touching my face. So I don't know if there's wind noise or not. Now I'm gonna do another 360 degree turn and just see if you get any wind noise. I'm talking at the same volume that I was talking just a minute ago without the media mod. So hopefully you're enjoying this footage. So there you have it. I'm back from that little walk. And one thing that I've uh, read is that this USB-C port is only for charging the camera. You cannot use this port, from what I understand, I might be wrong about this, but from what I'm reading, if it's correct, um, you cannot use this USB-C port to transfer your data over. You actually have to take the mod off of your camera and get the SD card out the old way. And I don't have any fingernails, so that's a little bit tough for me. I gotta have like a, a pen or a coin or something to get that thing off. Yeah. But it does hold the camera very secure. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Please feel free to leave your comments down below and let me know what you think. Is the audio any different? Does it sound the same? I'd like to know. So please leave a comment. And I'll also put a link down there where you can find the media mod. And I plan on getting the, the GoPro light mod. When I do, I'll share that with you as well. So until next time, folks, again, thank you for stopping by. I hope you have a beautiful day. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.